I start to introduce myself as the widow of John McNamara. And I really want to say that I'm the wife of John McNamara, but the W letter doesn't come out quite right, and I have to say I'm the widow of John McNamara. And it's changed everything. It's changed my identity. It's changed people's response to me. It's changed what I think of myself. It's a, it's a big life change. Most of the people I've talked to talk about journaling. I did try, instead of journaling, to kind of use the Facebook posts as my journal and to just capture one thing a day so that someday if the fog ever lifts, I'll be able to look back on it and try to remember how I feel. Although part of me thinks I won't want to remember how I feel. For every day, for nearly a year, Andrews had to deal with something so bizarre and wrong that she came up with the hashtag, absurdity of the day. Her first absurdity of the day Facebook post came after MetLife denied a claim on John's life insurance policy. The life insurance company said I had to prove I wasn't the shooter because most people who are shot are shot by their romantic partner. This is over the phone or in a letter? It was in a letter. Uh, the letter said it was denied and gave a telephone number for me to call. And when I called, that was the explanation they gave. And about 10 or 15 minutes later, I got a call back from some vice president who apologized. He said he Googled my name and they were gonna pay the claim. But I still don't know what the other families have to do because most shooting victims don't have something to Google. That was when I started writing Absurdity of the Day, I think. Absurdity of the Day. John loved our covered patio in the back. And if he were here today, he would have been there listening to the Orioles game on the radio when I got home. The radio is still out there. It's been out there all winter. I hate our covered patio. Sometimes I come home and I say, I hate my house. I hate my house. But I'm gonna hate a new one too. Are you gonna get a new microwave? <laughs> I figured I'd make it laugh. <laughs> so my parents gave us this microwave in 1985 when we got married. And I remember they asked us every time they saw us for a while if we were using it and if we liked it. And John and I decided to look at each other and say, the microwave has changed our lives. Absurdity of the day. I left the popcorn in the microwave for too long and it caught fire. There was no other damage. My parents gave us that microwave when we got married. The microwave lasted longer than we did. I had to drag it outside so the smoke wouldn't set off the smoke alarm. There's no guidebook for this new normal, Andrea says. Doing laundry for one cooking for one, sleeping alone. She's also learned some things about herself, things only someone who lost a loved one can know or feel. I always thought it was possible that I would never get married when I was in school and grad school and wanting to be a lawyer. and. And I suppose if I stuck with that, I wouldn't be a widow now. But 
if I had the choice of being married to John for only 33 years and never being married to John at all, I want to be married to him for 33 years. It was the best thing that ever happened to me. This is my absurdity of the day for January 29th. I don't want to be brave. I don't want to be strong. I don't want to be inspiring. I want to be ordinary again. I want to be married to my sweetheart.